Hey y'all, it's Lauren. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm so excited for this video because I'm going to be showing y'all some of my favorite hairstyles I've done in the past six months to maintain my awkward lengths of hair. I'm currently growing out my hair. As you know, I went through chemotherapy and I was completely bald, lost all my hair. This month is actually 10 months post chemo, so this is the hair I've got going on right now. This video doesn't just have to be for people that are growing out their hair after chemo. It could be for someone that's maybe growing out their hair after a pixie cut. These are just really good hairstyles that I found help me a lot going through those awkward lengths. So if you want to learn more and you want to know how to recreate these hairstyles, then just keep watching this video. Okay, so before we get into doing all of the hairstyles, I wanted to show y'all how I actually like style my hair in the morning without all the accessories, just like the hair products I use. So the first thing I do is I always get it wet because I have the worst bed head ever when I wake up in the morning. So I get it wet when I'm washing my face and stuff and then I will take my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. I really like this stuff because it doesn't leave your hair feeling super crusty. I've used hair gels in the past that just leave my hair feeling really crunchy and this stuff kind of keeps it, I mean it holds the curl in but it feels super soft and it doesn't really feel super crunchy like I said. So I really like this stuff. I've been using this for a few months. I have, I've gone through like half the bottle that much. I probably use like that much sometimes I might use a little bit more um, and then I just kind of work it into my hair and scrunch it I have most of my chemo curls chemo waves whatever you want to call it in the back so I focus the product more there and then sometimes I just kind of brush it through the rest of my hair and my hair is still wet right now so throughout the day it'll dry and it won't look as wet and the curl will kind of hold better so yeah I use that stuff work with it a little bit and then I'll go in with this Kristen S ultra hydrating curl leave-in cream it's like a spray Again, I just focus a lot of this in the back where most of my curls are. The weird thing about my hair texture right now is that it's literally pinned straight on top. Like the hair right here is pinned straight. So that's why I never put any of my curl products on the top of my head. And then the back is just like super wavy, super textured. So it's a very weird texture. If you've gone through chemo and you have dealt with the same hair texture, please let me know. So now moving on to actually styling it because most of the time I never leave it like this throughout the day. I mean, I'd probably be fine. It looks cute like this, but I just like having accessories in my hair. It makes me feel more girly. I have a ton of clips. Some of them are from Madewell. Like these two are from Madewell. These two little clips, I think are just from Target. And then a lot of the other ones, like all of these are from a local boutique. So I'm going to show y'all how, or the different ways I style all of them. And then I have, I recently found like a few days ago, maybe even a week ago, I found a fun hair hack that is good for like, if you want to wear hats during the day so super excited to share that one with y'all but let's go ahead and get into the styling part so we can make this awkward hair look a little better so i'm gonna start off with the hairstyle where i have this side pinned back with a bobby pin i'm actually gonna use my two really cute bobby pins that have pearls on them the first thing i do is i'm gonna take my comb right here if you see me looking over here it's because i have a mirror i'm just gonna comb like this kind of comb the hair back and i kind of push the hair back and i'm gonna twist it once i'm gonna take my bobby pin and so you can leave this one in right here, or you can take the other one. Just like that. It is all up to you if you wanna use one or two. If you just have one, it's totally okay. It's just as cute. Then I usually kinda of like to brush down this other side of my head and kinda of make the hair look more slicked back. And I think this is so cute. It looks super like chic, I guess is the word, having that side right here pushed back. So this next hairstyle is super simple. I'm just gonna use these little breaths right here to show y'all, but it's just like a twisting this hair to the side like that. But usually I just do kind of like a twist and I bring more hair in every time I twist. And then I'm gonna take my little clip and put it at the end. And the reason why I do kind of like a twist is because my hair isn't long enough to just slip back and put this in. So I twist it and I tuck in those hairs right here. And I do this almost every single day, y'all. That's how easy it is. So. so this next one is super simple. You're just going to brush all of your hair up because we're going to be doing a little half up, half down. And I'm going to use my little hair elastics here to do this. I'm just going to take my hair. And you don't have to, your hair doesn't have to be this long. 
the same length as mine to do it. I started doing this on my hair probably at almost six months post chemo, now I'm at 10 months. Just the longer the hair gets, the more hair you're gonna be able to have and the longer it's gonna be. So I just take my hair elastic after I have all the hair I want. This is so cute, y'all. Oh my gosh. And the longer your hair gets, the more hair you're gonna have on here. I just kind of brush it down. But this is definitely one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so cute. And notice all of these literally take probably less than a minute to do. They're super easy. This next one is gonna require a middle part. Middle parts aren't my favorite, but it's gonna look cute. So this next one, like I said, already done the middle part. It looks so stupid right now, but just trust me. Trust the process, okay? I'm gonna take my two little hair clips right here and I'm gonna brush one side up. I'm gonna work one side at a time. My hair isn't long enough to do a French braid on top yet, so I just do these twists. Kind of do the same thing that we did when we were doing the side part thing, but just twist your hair up and then grab hair as you go. And then take your hair clip. And that is the hairstyle, just having two twists. And the longer your hair gets, the easier it's gonna be to do this. And also the longer your hair gets, you might be able to start doing braids on top. Okay, so this next hairstyle, you're gonna have your hair in the middle part again, but we're gonna create little ponytails using our elastic. And you can also do little buns. I'm gonna do little buns. I'm just gonna grab some hair, take an elastic and twist it twice. And then on the third one, I'm gonna stop halfway to create a little bun. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side of your head. And y'all, are you kidding me? This is so cute. This is so cute. I've I've done the ponytails. I've never done the buns like this. So yeah, this is the these are the cute little buns. This might be my favorite. This might be my favorite. So this is what they would look like without the buns and if they were just ponytails. This is also very cute, but I just found out about the buns and I'm in love with them. So I almost totally forgot to mention this, but I have one more hair hack for y'all because it's actually really clever. I saw it on Instagram a few days ago. But if you're a person that likes to wear hats, all the time if you're going to the store if you're going outside for a walk just wherever if you like to wear hats a lot and you're growing out your hair this is a hair hack for you all you're gonna need is some bobby pins y'all bobby pins are your best friend if you are going through an awkward phase in your hair and you're also gonna need two hair ties you can use some hair elastics I'm just gonna use these hair ties and then obviously you're going to need a hat okay so I'm just gonna take out these two buns I have so the first thing you want to do is pin your hair back a little bit. And then I'm going to separate my hair in the back. You're essentially going to be making it look like you have pigtails. You can put the pigtails wherever you want, but I like to put them kind of close to my ear so it's visible from the front and the back. Do the same thing to the other side. I also like to tuck in these front pieces right here and then pull them back into the ponytail too so they stay out of your face. Just like that and then I'll tweak with them a little bit and make them look even and you can tighten them and also make them look a little more poofy if you want and then I'm gonna take two more bobby pins and then I'm gonna take this hair right here that's kind of poking out a little bit and tuck it back as well do the same thing to the other side and it's literally gonna look like the dumbest thing ever, but it's not gonna matter because you're gonna put a hat and it's gonna cover all of it up. So you wanna be careful putting the hat on so you don't ruin all of the bobby pins that you just put in. And then I also like to pull out some side pieces just so my face is framed and it doesn't look as stupid. And that is the hair hack. This not only hides all of your awkward layers up here, but it also makes it look like you have longer hair than you actually do because you got the little pigtails at the bottom. Makes it look like all of your hair is this length. And I think this is super cute. If you're just going to the grocery store, you don't feel like styling your hair, literally all you have to do is put it in pigtails, bobby pin those sides up, put a hat on, and you don't even have to worry about doing your hair for the day. All right, so the last couple of hairstyles I wanna show you have to do with ha hair scarves, not head scarves, hair scarves. Literally this whole thing is filled 
deals with hair stuff. I don't use the hair scarves quite as often. I did a video probably, I think it was around six months post chemo, showing y'all how I style my hair with head scarves. I'll have that in one of the cards above. I get my head scarves or my hair scarves from Target and Madewell. They both have a lot and I think they're super cute. So I just bring it up right before my hair is about to start and I tie it up because sometimes when I tie it, if it's on my head already, the hair will get tangled into the knot and it's very painful. And then just push the hair up like this. And then I always pull out some pieces on the side. I don't use my head scarves as often as I used to, but I think they're still a super cute option. But yeah, this is the last hairstyle. So super cute. So yeah, that concludes these super cute hairstyles that I have been using for the past 10 months or the past six months probably when my hair has gotten a little bit longer and I'm able to do some more styles with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, make sure you give it a big like, comment down below, and let me know what was your favorite hairstyle that I showed you and also subscribe so you never miss another video like this one. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week.